Sudan, really sub-Saharan Africa, faced catastrophic floods. That's that's what we got going on here. Not really many people are talking about this. I've been following this for a few days now, and I see it looks like, and it really started with article here. Where is the article? Is this? No. Here we go. This is one of the articles that I saw some time ago, and I kind of <clears throat> paid a little bit of attention to, but let's get rid of that. Let's just get rid of you there, buddy. All right. Uh, this is from Africa.com. Rising Nile floodwaters are threatening to swamp an ancient archaeological site in Sudan after rivers in the country reach some of the highest ever recorded levels archaeologists set. And then we go to here. This is from, when is this, September 25th or 6th, somewhere. According to the UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs in Sudan, nearly 166,000 dwellings were destroyed or damaged in the floodwaters that have swept the northeast African country since mid-July. So this is something that has been going on for a while. And and yet, so we're talking about 830,000 people so far that has been affected by the Sudan floods alone. And we have I have a uh, world. This is from <clears throat> Global Impact News. Tens of thousands forced out of school by floods in sub-Saharan Africa. In the countries affected Guinea, Niger, Nigeria, Somalia, Sudan. Uh, uh, I didn't say Somaliland. Let's see. I just want to see Somaliland floods. Okay, so let's see if they're going through it. Because you would want to leave them out, wouldn't you? Oh, uh, Somalia, I spelled it wrong. All right, whatever. I mean, I didn't spell it wrong. I, whatever. Yeah, I got it wrong. Okay, Somali flash floods. Let's check this out here. And there we go, Somali flash floods. So that's Wikipedia. That's April 28th. Let's see. Somaliland. I don't see. Drought, locust, coronavirus, and now once in a century. Let's see what this says. <clears throat> Particularly heavy rainfall has caused flooding in East Africa. So, so just in East Ethiopia, Sudan, and South Sudan. And the situation is particularly dramatic in Ethiopia, where more than 1 million people have been affected this is the worst flood in living remembering man uh, there's all of this stuff is going on around the world and, and the flooding in china what we know well i don't know about certainly from africa to china that's all around the world <laughs> okay uh, i don't know in other places <clears throat> the levels of and i don't know the degree to which this is could be laid at the feet of the man-made climate change what could be laid at the feet of uh non-man-made or human-made let's say human-made uh sorry human-made uh climate change because especially on this part when we're talking about taking a blame i want to make sure all humans are on board with that <laughs> so yeah 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 human-made climate change human human made uh, to the degree to which that is or is not a thing, I think I think there's at least a fair measure of truth to it, and then uh, the great and there may be even more truth to <coughs> uh, other things that are going on that are producing climate change that are outside of our control, and then it also might just be uh, not really so much climate change as uh, cyclical stuff that uh, we're just not fully on board with, because there have been periods of time where we've had this massive natural upheavals and just stuff happens man and maybe we'll figure out the cycles maybe it has to do with the magnetic cycles in the earth that trigger certain who knows we just there's just so many things that we don't know but what we do know is right now this is horrible in the here and now so like i'm probably gonna hopefully there's gonna be some sort of uh africa flood relief let's see if we got all that going Aid making its way to flooded communities. 
So we are working on that. Particularly heavy rainfalls has caused flooding in East Africa. And more rainfall is predicted for the coming days. And this is from September 22nd. And there was <coughs> indeed. You see 166,000 houses damaged or destroyed by floods. And you get a sense of uh, what we're talking about here. And the flooding here. This is all flooding. This is all outside the Nile. All of this is the White Nile. And I don't know where that is in relation to the universe. But you can, you can we can go to Khartoum. Let's go to uh, Khartoum. All right, let's go to Khartoum and let's go to the map here and see what we're talking about. We're talking about this whole area here flooded. This is a uh, Khartoum sedan, so this is see the little bit of pictures of uh cartoon beautiful beautiful stuff oh oh it doesn't look healthy poor guy or gal whatever you are i like animals i like animals i like animals that's that's real <clears throat> that's powerful there we go. You see that? You see that? Uh, that's that's a, this is in the Egyptians didn't influence Khartoum. Khartoum influenced Egypt. The source of Kush, the great empire of Kush, I believe, is is Khartoum. Yeah, all of this is, and there's uh, some of the uh, <coughs> temples, and a lot of these temples, especially these ones back here. These uh, mound type temples, these are uh, these predate the Egyptian temp temples by significant periods of time, maybe hundreds of years, something like that. I don't have the exact, but it's it, it's it, it's at least a couple centuries, something somewhere, somewhere around that, maybe more. I don't know. This is obviously not from this is from uh, the uh, the the common era. That is an individual. Hello, human. How you doing? He is. Uh, He's alert. He's there to serve. He's like, yo, man, I got this. Like, if that was your, if that was your dude, that was like your security. How would you feel? I would feel like, yo. So these folks, hopefully, uh, they're rescuing all these folks here and uh, preserving them. Look at that. That's that's pretty. I don't even know about this building. That's a pretty cool building. At least it looks cool. That's beautiful. Those minaret there. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, I sure hope the Khartoum is uh, is is okay. And then we have a little bit of a. Uh, this is the uh, Khartoum. What it looks like underwater here, and what they're dealing with. So this is oh, there's that building that we were just looking at. So you can see, the the structures that are challenged. So indeed, the pyramids are in fact going to be challenged. And let's hope. The funding to respond is extremely you know this is this is one of these where whatever you want to call it it's just basically i i don't really like i i don't really like even using the word racism anymore it's so loaded now and i i, I do believe in a in a form of majorityism and i do believe in habits of gravitas and we can if we see a black face that looks like what we would consider to be American, especially if we've heard them talk and they sound American. And uh, the American is a wide range of accents, by the way, and the black community, black American community is all kinds of American accents. Like that person has the potential to, to be viewed with a lot more gravitas than we would. I'm not talking about me personally. I'm talking about this is what i what i believe is observably true in general that we we t we tend to kind of look a little bit askance at people when they're black and african as opposed to black and african american and that is just one of these forms of uh majorityisms that we have going on so black americans are part of the american majority we're all the american majority and the africans in in terms of real power are significant minorities <laughs> and so we don't take their suffering and their pain this is a monumentally tragic horrible story that's going on it's just like china and we the, the i mean i've talked about that i don't know if i've done any videos on the china i i did do some some videos indirectly on the china floods but i've spoken about 
how horrible they are. And I, you know, I'm a Christian, so I pray. I try to do more than pray. There's things you can do. You can give to. That, that's the most important thing is if you ever think that prayer alone is sufficient. Now, prayer is uh, kind of like an internal conversation that you have with your God. For me, I believe in the one what I assume is the one true God. Uh, but that's my internal conversation, if you will, and it's a, it's a, it's 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 intended to, to me. Prayer is intended to produce action. It's not the action in and of itself. It's intended to produce action. Action from you, you specifically. It's supposed to, to to basically put whatever it is that you're praying on. It becomes more and more important to you, and your body becomes more and more inclined to want to do things to serve that thing that you're praying on that's how prayer works for me and it works for a lot of people they don't even know it so in those terms pray and 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 lead to action do what you can whatever you can to help these folks and unfortunately china is really difficult to try to help anybody in china unless you know people personally that you can reliably get funds to because you try to do that you're not going to get funds to the right people if you send it through any kind of chinese government approved system so here i don't know uh, it might be i don't know what the situation is uh, i know some people that are uh, well i know a couple people in this region and even a, and even a i know a couple more people indirectly actually a, a few more people indirectly from other people that i know that know more people in this region so there may be a way to try to help these folks find out what's really going on and uh that's what's most important but the uh the other side of the story is this is a major story. This should be a major world story. And it would be if if African lives mattered. I'm just and I don't believe it's a racist thing. I believe it's a majority ismist thing. These are people that come from countries that have very little world power. Very little world power and so they lack the gravitas. We don't associate their nation states with gravitas, so they don't get the gravitas. And it just so happens that, uh, you know, they're, I mean, you, you can, not completely, but you can almost, I'd say, I mean, and I could be wrong. This is not, this is my assumption. I might be wrong. If you put two black faces up together, I think most Americans, black, white, whatever, if you grew up in America, it doesn't matter your race. That I'd say seven out of ten times you'll be able to successfully pick whether the person is of Africa, from Africa, and just showed up, or whether they're an American. You, we know our American faces, and I do believe that our. I mean, even even for white faces, there's a degree of this as well, where you can. I mean, it's not totally reliable, but there's a degree. There's like these ranges of faces that we associate with American. And I think one of the reasons is because I think that because we all live in the same lands and we're all loving each other, that there is going to be some some tendencies that emerge amongst. It always happens. So I think that's probably just all that's happening here. But but I, I, I would like to see African faces have to the same. I mean, they do for me. Uh, but for everyone else, I wish that African faces would be given their place at the table, given the gravitas that they deserve. And uh, this should be a major story. This, sh this is a terrible, terrible story that's going on. And we have, uh, from Khartoum, nearly 830,000 people across Sudan have been affected by months of severe flooding. The United Nations said Thursday, days after the Nile River waters had started to recede. Now you have... Uh, where is it here? I believe I have a story up here somewhere that talks about the the latest forecast. But this is from yesterday, and the latest forecast is more rain, more rain, and we do have aid making its way. This is from September 21st. But still, I mean, this is for Nairobi, Kenya. So Kenya is affected by this. And uh, and there, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Parts of East Africa, including Ethiopia, expect heavy rain flooding. So we're talking about more rounds of... Oh, this is from some... Well, this is... Uh, this was... It showed up... Uh, here, here it's dated. September 26th is what it is. 
So that's what it's dated, September 26th. So, so, so we've got more, more issues on the way. So prayers and actions for the uh, people in the path of, of this uh, Nile River overflow. And uh, for everyone else, uh, and even for you folks, as much as possible, if you're living in any of these places where you might hear this in, in that path, However you can, to the best of the way that you possibly can, have a great rest of your day. I mean, if not, why not? Well, in your case, you guys have a lot of why not, but there's a whole lot of us, majority of us out there that can hear this can probably deep down say, you know, you're right. Why not? <laughs>